Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio and you are looking at what I do typically to test a variety of products. Now, um, I'm going to zoom in here a bit. Um, Sukuniko ink, purely pigments, uh, make sure it's heat set. This is Dynaflow on this background. Comanskaya inks, uh, more, let's see, this is Optimus ink. Common Sky, Optimus, Dynaflow, Purely Pigments. The reason I'm testing all these is I will be doing two intermediate classes, this block and another, of which the backgrounds are going to be colored. Now, one of the infamous problems with fabric and coloring on it, particularly with anything that is a liquid, is it tends to stain right off the bat. And I'm gonna zoom in here. Uh, let's see where I've got it. Uh, Sukuniko ink is actually really good. So if you can see here, in when I overlapped these two, it, it kind of created a definitive edge to where the last thing is. Same thing with this right here. And one I'm trying to get, um, this one is the same thing. This was GAC 900, by the way. I know you've heard me refer to this, a wonderful, wonderful fabric medium, but boy, it bleeds a lot. Um, literally, I put it in here and it bled all the way out to here. Um, so this is why I test, is to make sure that y'all don't have these issues. Um, the colors we'll talk about in the flowers later. This is mainly to talk about backgrounds. Now, what I do like, though, is um, the Purely Pigment. Uh, I've done a couple of videos on it lately. Um, I'm really thrilled about these Optimus uh, inks. They're an acrylic ink, um, but they're different. Um, and I'll talk more about this when I do a product review. But right now, what I'm really here to show you is what I'm doing to test um, how I go about creating the kits that I do and using what I'm using. Now, I am moving more into intermediate slash advanced type of classes. That is what this is for. So you will see probably more and more of these videos focus in on liquid forms of coloring, inks, paints, dyes, etc. cetera. Um, but this is a general just test all to see how they're going to react because the next thing I'm going to do is come over here to the kitchen sink. Yes, I did clean it out this time. It looks much better than it's done in the past. And I'm gonna use the disposal side and I'm going to fill this up first. I'm gonna actually put this in the sink. Um, this has been heat tested. Um, I'm, I make a note now. I'm gonna turn this on, warm water. Um, I actually like to use Dawn. You know, if, if it can't be cleaned with Dawn, what can it be cleaned with? And just kind of do the old mush around, mush around, mush around. How do you like that for technical times? Now the water's pretty warm. So I'm going to shut it off now. I, I'm starting to see some of the shirts that y'all have seen in my shows. If I really wash it in super hot water, particularly the acrylic paint does begin to break down. So I'm going to suggest going forward, warm to tap cool water to wash um, any of this, these painted items. Um, and, but I'll be frank with you, those shirts are, are starting to degrade only after being six or seven years old and being washed on a pretty regular basis. Okay, so let's just give this again a good swoosh. Um, I'm not seeing any color off in the water. That's usually what I do first uh, to see, you know, a lot of times do the suds start changing color. That's the true sign of there being some kind of bleeding going on. Um, I, you know, interestingly enough, I did not make a note of what the flowers were colored in. Uh, I guess I should have because that could have started bleeding without any problem. All right, um, this has gone on for, oh, I think it's 30 seconds or longer. I think that's enough, you know. Again, I like to just kind of treat it like it was in a washing machine and that should do it. And let's drain the water and just rinse this. Now this is hot, let me get this back over to cool. I mean, we all see this in the instructions, right? Whenever we have something that's 
not delicate, but needs to have its colors protected. Vibrant colors can and will eventually wash out over the course of their lifetime. All right, so now let's see what this looks like. Um, looking pretty good. Hang on here a second. Yes, I know, I'm videoing with my phone again. I just gotta try to master that whole uh, focusing thing. Ah, but I'd rather play with paints than worry about how to do correct videoing, as I'm sure many of you can appreciate. Okay, so let's just kind of make the circuit. Um, by the way, that's Ditsy knocking over something again. She's been on the rampage lately. Um, everything here that you see, uh, everything, I do not see any kind of stuff that is washed out. Maybe, let me just pull this down here. There was some stuff right in here. It looks like whatever was underneath there washed out, but I didn't make a note of it. Um, I think at the time, whenever I don't make notes, it's because I've already ruled it out as a possibility. Okay, purely pigments, as expected, they look great. Um, let me go them over here. Well, obviously the blending, um, but you know what? That does look, I don't know. I'll have to go back and rewind this and take a look at this. Now, the Sukuniko ink, great, perfect. Um, I, I forgot to mention um, the this particular kit is gonna come with a gold and or silver marker, depending on the choice. Um, this is to make various different designs within the frame that normally would go around this. So let me just flip this and we'll keep on going around and looking at these colors. Thank you for being very patient as you all always are. Um, purely pigment again, purely pigment again, doing great. Now this is the new stuff Optima. Wow, this is looking very, very good. Um, I'll show you this stuff here just a second. Um, Komaskaya. Now Komaskaya, I don't think I'll be using for the white colored uh, designs, but boy, they look great on denim. They're very true to their color, but I wanted to test its washability first before I go off and test anything um, on denim. So again, Optim Optimus looks really good. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy. Everything looks great. So stay tuned. This is a test all these inks and various different other wet paint supplies have passed the test. So the next thing we'll be, uh, I'll be doing is uh, giving you a review on each one of them, where you can buy them, and uh, which I like best. As always, thanks for watching.